welcome back. We have the bean all loaded up, ready to go on its first trip. Had everything loaded in my dad's truck last night. And then this morning, I got a call from Ken Garth saying, your truck is fixed. They were hoping the end of July, it is what, June 24th, something like that. And it is back, thank goodness. It's been in the shop since mid April. They were telling me six months and it took them basically two full months but it's good to have it back it sucked to unload the truck and reload and all that but it just feels so good to have the truck back i know a lot of you have been asking wondering what's happening with it from what i was told they have released a bunch more tanks or they their shipment came in or whatever so the def tanks fixed for now fingers crossed but we are just so excited to have the truck back now it's time to get hooked on to the bean and head out on our first camp trip with our new bean and with getting our truck back, finally. <sighs> Always doing that last minute, did I forget anything, kind of check off list in my head. It's been a little bit more than I usually am because I'm switching units and, <laughs> and uh, you know, packing for the occasion. So that's what we're doing. We're, I think we're finally there and we are ready to get tied on. Crazy how much stuff we had to take. Yes, on top of our food assignment. <laughs> but I think we've got it. We've got it all jangled in here and fingers crossed we've got everything and ready to go. And of course, the little shorty pants. I have to close it from the side. <laughs> I'll keep going a little bit more. Keep going. Chains are a little long, so we do a little twist. twist. It's already got um, the cross in it. So all we have to do is hook on. Safety first. And lights. Lights are all working. Got our truck back. It's time to go. Let's go camping. Three days later. Weekends came to an end. We weren't able to film much while we we're actually out here camping because family reunion, you know, 30 to 50 people running around, it's just difficult. We bought a new Lion Energy LT battery pack to bring with us. And the first night, Kara's parents, their batteries went dead. And we think it's Kara's mom's CPAP machine. It's just drawing the batteries down. So last night we hooked the CPAP up to the Safari LT and it ran it all night long. Now this morning, it's dead. I mean, it made it through the night, but it's out of power now and their batteries were fine this morning. So I think it was a really good call to have this with us. And if you're running into those issues of like a CPAP or something like that, drawing down the batteries, check out the Safari LT. This thing works great, it's lightweight. Stores really easy. We just have it right down here with our battery. It just fits in there perfect. Uh, solar charge capable. We didn't have to charge it, but I mean, we could have hooked it up to our solar and charged it. And it worked really nice. And she was very appreciative to have her CPAP run all night. Comment below if you run a CPAP. I think a lot of people do. I mean, it seems like everybody I talk to now says, oh, my CPAP. I'm like, oh, I had no idea that that many people had CPAPs. And I didn't know how much power they drained. Or maybe it's just her mom's, but it drained a lot of power. If you're running into that issue, you might want to look into one of these power packs from Lion Energy. Links down below, 15% off, which is a heck of a deal. That's better than most of the deals they advertise on their website. So the truck was awesome, of course. It's so good to have it back. It took us a quarter tank to get here. And usually towing our trailer, our, our fifth wheel, it takes probably three quarters of a tank. So that was nice with the price of diesel right now to save a whole bunch. And the bean was super nice. I don't know how many tours we gave of it. Seemed like everybody that was here wanted their tour and thought it was just so cool. First trip out of the way. We've learned what to do, what not to do. <laughs> but overall, it's been a really good, fun trip. Everybody's been asking about the mattress, how we've liked it, how we've 
you know, liked our trailer so far and we've got no negative reviews as of yet. <laughs> but we'll keep you posted um, and just kind of keep you guys informed how we like it, how things are working, not working, um, and just kind of go from there. As always, we do appreciate your viewership. Thank you for watching and enjoy your weekend.